it was really exciting to go to Lion's Head for me because there's not too many areas that I um, haven't at least visited or maybe stopped through. So to see a completely new crag with a bunch of hard new routes is really exciting. Part of me was really interested to try and do a lot of on-site climbing there. Lion's Head, Ontario, just looked outstanding on the water, uh, white streaked limestone. Um, I first walked the cliff and I had known a little bit, like I had a little bit of historical context of like the roots and, and kind of like how classic they were and, and kind of the ones to look out for. But certainly walking the cliff, there's a few lines that clearly stand out. I had seen some photos and heard a lot about a route called Big Kahuna, which is a Jerry Moffat route from the early 90s. It's very thin, it's near vertical, the rock quality is outstanding. And on the same wall as Big Kahuna, there's several other 513s, and this wall was really inspiring. It's the Lost at Sea Ledge. Failure is a huge part of my climbing, and I think it's a huge part of most people's climbing. Everyone's climbing. Um, and certainly, if you're going to try something first try as an on site, I mean, there's so many opportunities to screw up. One really difficult thing about approaching routes at Lion's Head is that they're very seldom trafficked at all, and even the classic routes, a lot of them lack any kind of chalk or any resemblance of them being climbed ever, um, just because it rains, they all wash with water, and so it's very difficult to read sequences from the ground. A lot of the climbing there is more in the three to five foot bubble as opposed to being able to look from the ground and see chalked holds and features like you would in a lot of other areas. The nice thing about having beta is that you can kind of you can climb with a little bit more of a rhythm and sometimes really enjoy a route a lot more than you would on sighting.
before I leave the ground, before I like set off on the first try journey, I really try and get into a certain headspace. You don't want to get caught with t hesitating too much. The other thing that you need to balance with not hesitating is you also don't want to jump into uh, a sequence without, you know, without an exit, without an exit strategy. You want to have an opportunity to think things through. And at the same time though, yeah, you don't want to sit in a strenuous position for too long and waste all the energy you could be using climbing. You have to really be prepared to try super, super hard, and a lot of times you're not necessarily going to get everything right, and that's why doing the group first try is a lot of times much, much harder than what you've rehearsed so many times before. Does that really hold? That's going to break in my face. I gotta go soon, this kinda sucks. Thank <laughs> you.